caterpillar. The caterpillar looked at Alice for some time before it spoke. Then it said slowly, Who are you? It was a difficult question. I, I do not really know, sir. Alice said, I was Alice when I, grow, when I got up this morning. But then I changed. And then I changed again and again. What do we? The caterpillar asked. I don't know. Alice answered. You see, I am not me now. I do not understand, said the caterpillar. I will try and tell you, said Alice. You see, I change all the time. It is very difficult to me. Why, I can change very easily. Uh, well, perhaps it is not difficult for you, but it's for me, said Alice. For you? Who are you? said the caterpillar and laughed. Alice felt angry. It asked me that question before, she thought. She stood very tall and said, I will tell you, but first you tell me who are you? Why do I have to tell you? asked the caterpillar. This was another difficult question, and Alice could not answer it. This caterpillar is not very friendly, she thought. So she walked away. Come back, the caterpillar called. I want to tell you something important. Alice turned him back again. Do not get angry, said the caterpillar. Is that all? Alice asked. She felt very angry with the caterpillar. No, said the caterpillar. It did not speak for some minutes, then it said. So you are different, are you? Yes, I am, sir, said Alice. I can not remember things, and my size changes all the time. Sometimes I get bigger, and, I, and then I get smaller again. So you cannot remember things, said the caterpillar. Try this, repeat. You are old, Father William. Alice put her hands behind her back and repeated. You are old, Father William, the young man said. And your hair is now very white. So why do you often stand on your head? Do you think and arrange it is right? You are old, Father William, the young man said. And you are old and really quite fat. But to jump up and down and run around and round. Now, what is the answer to that? That is not right, said the caterpillar. I know some of the, the words are different, said Alice. said Alice. It is wrong from beginning to end, said the caterpillar. It was very, it was quiet all the time for a time. Then it asked, what size would you like to be? I would like to be taller, said Alice. Seven centimeters is too small. Seven centimeters is a very good size, said the caterpillar angrily. It grew up very tall. It is a good size for you, but not for me, said Alice. And she thought, why does it get angry all the time? The caterpillar was quiet for some minutes. Then it climbed down the mushroom. Eat my mush eat from my mushroom and you get bigger. Eat from the brown mushroom there. And you get smarter. 
it said. It started to move away. A minute later, it vanished behind a flower, and Alice never saw it again. Alice looked at the two mushrooms and thought for a minute. Then she went to the caterpillar's mushroom and broke off some of it with her right hand. She went to the brown mushroom and did the same with her left hand. She ate some of the brown mushroom. Suddenly, her head hit her foot. Oh, she cried. I am really small. She quickly ate a little from the white mushroom in her left hand. She started to get bigger. She ate some more and got very tall. Then she ate some of from some from one hand and some from all the other. In a short time, she was her right size again. She felt quite strange. What shall I do now? She wondered. I know. I will look for that beautiful garden. She began to walk through the wood. After some time, she came to a little house. It was about one meter high. I cannot go inside. I am too big. Alice thought the people in the house would be afraid of me. I know, I will hit some of the brown mushroom. When she was 18 centimeters high, she walked into the house. She opened the door and went in. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel for more stories. Bye.